Paolo Macchiarini, a disgraced surgeon convicted of gross assault for implanting artificial windpipes in patients who later died. Newtopia. The UK production company behind Limitless with Chris Hemsworth and Queen Cleopatra, is producing the three-part series, working titled Bad Surgeon, Love Under the Knife. The documentary will spotlight the work of Makiarini, who set out to revolutionize regenerative medicine in 2011 by implanting plastic windpipes in patients desperate for a cure. But Swedish-born Makiarini lied about his research and three of those he treated died, while a fourth later had their artificial windpipe removed. Swedish appeals court convicted Makiarini on Wednesday and sentenced him to two and a half years in prison. He has denied any criminal wrongdoing. According to Associated Press, the Sphere Court of Appeal ruled that two of the three patients who died did not require emergency intervention, while the procedure on the third was not justified. Makiarini realized the risk of the interventions would cause the patients bodily harm and suffering and that he, even though he has had a hope that the method would work, has been indifferent to the risks, the court is reported to have said. Bad surgeon. Love Under the Knife will also examine Makiarini's personal life, revealing how he was a compulsive liar spinning wild stories and manipulating a reporter to become his fiance. She went on to expose him and fight for justice. Ben Steele directs the series, which will stream later this year. Executive producers are Nicola Moody and Jane Root, while David Herman is the co-executive producer. Production manager is Lisa Polly's. Key completely assumes responsibility for the operations at the Karolinska University Hospital where Paolo Macchiarini gave three patients an artificial trachea. In addition, the scandalous surgeon was appointed and his work was extended in inappropriate ways, as the external review of key procedures in relation to the scandalous surgeon shows. The Macchiarini case may be Sweden's biggest medical scandal. The investigation, conducted by former National Police Chief Sten Heckscher with Finnish professor Carl Gamberg and writer Ingrid Karlberg, is extremely harsh in its criticisms. I never saw the pair of negative cues during enlistment, says Steen Heckscher. Eight critical questions The investigation identified eight critical issues, which include Makiarini's employment. KI's potential liability for operations at Karolinska University Hospital and in Russia and Makiarini's research at Ki. Heckscher states that the recruitment suffered from inadequate preparation and markedly negative references that were not documented. Words don't rhyme. I have never seen a pair of negative signals like the one from Paolo. It's lyrics, not songs, says Heckscher. He says, among other things, that Macchiarini was not assessed as qualified for a professorship in Florence. Among other things, because of incorrect information in his biography and because the data in Italian publications have been called into question. Heckscher quotes one review. Macchiarini lacks judgment has no interest in ethical conditions or creating teams of research students, and is generally hypomanic, to say the least. The rector at Key gets a lot of negative judgments about Macchiarini, such as that Macchiarini is not a team player and that he is hard to take. Important email in an email to the rector, it was stated, among other things. That Macchiarini could be considered risky and negligent in his handling of the truth, as well as his lack of respect for factual and ethical rules. Dot. Despite this, the manager does not guarantee an in-depth analysis of the situation.